Hello everybody, we are in the Colonial Courthouse in York, Pennsylvania to celebrate Independence Day. And just to kind of get into your mind on this day, what happened in places like this. And while we're in the Continental Courthouse in York, just understand in central Pennsylvania, all around Pennsylvania, there are a lot of historic things to think about, to see and experience on Independence Day. And I would invite you to partake of that, take a look around, see what's in your area and go be part of it. But in this place, in, this, in 1777, the, the first Continental Congress started coming to York, driven out of Philadelphia by, by the British, and they came here on the frontier to this place to write the Articles of Confederation, the articles that said, we're done being ruled by Great Britain. We're done being ruled by somebody else, and we want to control our own destiny. And, and it happened in a place just like this. And so when you think about what is the meaning of Independence Day and, and these signatures on these documents here, uh, John Hancock and, 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 the, and the statue out front there with Lafayette, when France came into the war on the side of the Americans, when you think about what Independence Day is all about and the fact that the people that signed that document gave, they pledged their lives their fortunes and their sacred honor, and many gave everything. When you're enjoying Independence Day, some people call it the 4th of July, that's a date on a calendar. This is Independence Day. This is a celebration of the greatest country on the planet's independence from everybody else and showing that beacon of freedom for the world to see. It was paid for by something. It was paid for by the sacrifices of those who came before us that saw that vision and considered all the different forms of government that were known at that time and are still known to this day and figured out the best one and there is nothing like this anywhere else in the world. And it is worth thinking about, it is worth fighting for, and it is worth preserving. And so on this Independence Day, think about those things, enjoy your freedom, but understand that freedom isn't free and it came at a cost and it is worth saving. God bless you.